here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. I'll give you a minute, buddy. Thank you. We'd only been married a short time. By now, she had been dead longer than I knew her. I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business, but I knew that was just grief. The insanity that comes with losing the life you had built. Michelle, I missed her with every part of my being. I hated the world for not killing me with her, and I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. Excuse me, Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. If I could get back to Passos, we'd be in a slightly better position to handle this situation. shouldn't have gone there, and that Passos might have to pay the price for my sentimentality. Sorry. Just had to say goodbye. Ah. You okay? I will be once we get out of here. I get the feeling those weren't the only guys DeMarco sent after. Got that feeling, too. I started to wonder if my luck was about to run out when I realized it had a long time ago. That's why I was here. There he is! The money's mine! That's if there's anything left to identify the body, Swift. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. Wake up, let's go. The troops had arrived. Either DeMarco had thrown an army at this job, or he'd put a high enough bounty on our heads to attract every contract buying scumbag on the eastern seaboard. Yeah, yeah, but how are we gonna know who whacked them? Huh? I got hollow points. Yeah, look. We all got hollow points. Look, we'll split the bounty nice and even. All right? All right? Fair. That's all. I look like a fucking socialist. An aid worker. We'll work it out together. Okay? Look. Cuz, how long we been doing this? I'm not giving no handouts. I'm not asking for a handout. We're out here yeah, working. Whatever, whatever. Shut up, whatever. Just don't shut whatever up. You say. There he is! Right? Joe, just look. Just Joe, look. Joe, Joe. Joe. Oh. Oh. Passos had put some distance between himself and the goons. I meant to follow. Ah, 
Much of a reason to keep Passos alive, whoever they thought he was. Plots here weren't cheap. I'd take a free. Man, just be cool, okay? Be cool. Don't tell me it's cool. You act bad. Hmm? Very fucking funny. Whatever. You're Max Payne. I thought he was fucking Max Payne. Confusing, huh? Hey, you make one more move, and this guy, whoever the fuck he is, is gonna get fucking dead. Look, man, give yourself up, and DeMarco might have a change of conscience, huh? Might grant you one last reprieve, man. Ain't no reprieve, man. Gonna be found otherwise. I don't even know who he is. I'm gonna kill him! Breathe, man. Just breathe. Don't worry about it. Just get out of here, okay? Sounds like a fucking war is going on. Calm down. Some poor down. bastard quite literally on the graveyard shift. Must have been wondering why there were suddenly more bodies above ground than below. Sniper! Shit! All I can hope for is that he didn't even hear the shot that killed him. Get down! Shot came from the top of the mausoleum! Up in the tower! This is the only way through. If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? That's anyone's guess. Lay down fire! More of them! They're rushing you! Need a little cover! Let's go! Okay? Sure. Right up to the moment my head gets blown off. You gotta move again. I'll give you cover. Wait on me. Shit, Max, I got you covered. Don't give that sniper anything to aim at! Alright, boy! Shoot! Hey, I'm gonna cover you again! See if you can flank him! Get a shot! Run! Duck! Flank! Easy orders to give when you're way behind the front line! Windows coming up! Great! We'd come in here to hide, not very successfully as things turned out. Freeze! As opposed to what? Disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half cast! Turn around! Turn around! Move! Move! Hold it! That way, you fucking jokers. Move! Where are we going? Hey! Take it easy. You killed my son. 
You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! Fuck you! You killed my son! You fucking spick! Oh, God! You killed my son! Dig! No! I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dig! Sure, he had lived a bad life. But I, of all people, knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Your body ain't gonna bury itself, dig, motherfucker! I didn't want to tell the guy there were 45 other bodies in the cemetery that weren't receiving their Christian rites. I figured the Grave Digger Act would buy us some time. I'm getting tired just watching you! Boom! Oh. Oh. Are you going or die? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, follow me. got us in this situation? I didn't mind saying goodbye to this place whacked out Excuse on meds. Excuse me if I ain't had enough guns pointed at me without you joining in. Hey, Psst. this way. Up there. Go on, go, go, go. You can go first. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, thank you. This place looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out and clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. This was the place, if not the time, to play my dirge. It didn't come out right, but I wasn't in much of a state to do anything, apart from kill people. Maybe that's the only thing I'm good for in any circumstance. Hey, 
find that phone. And make a call. Yeah, there's gotta be a landline in that office, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Let me just call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out, I don't speak your Fucking language! Seu crigo de merda, cala a boca, seu crigo! That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. Uh, uh, uh. I ain't quite as dumb uh. as I see. Time to get out of there. Seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful nightclub had stayed in the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right, and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. Cops didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's finest, it'd be a miracle if the CS were still in business by the end of the day. The place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcello were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. These raids, Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. Everyone was fair game, as I was about to find out.
the odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. I guess sobriety is relative. I was still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Hare Krishnas. I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force?
alley was a dead end in more ways than one. I needed to find a way out of there. It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere and it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcelo and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? Marcelo! You bastard. Giovanni, it's gonna be okay. No, 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 you don't want to do that. Come on. gang way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Quem fez isso? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Coisa morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Pode deixar, eu mato.
After a couple of hours of lying in shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Passo said there's a good place to hide in the back. Just try to stay calm. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on. You okay? Yeah. Let's go. I guess this is it. No, keep going. Pregnant. You better be shitting me. Me and Raul, Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? Just didn't work out that way. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse and procure por toda parte. Temos que achar a menina e o americano também. Tá bom. Okay, chef. It's gonna be okay. Just calm down, I said. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? Boa, boa, vou ver isso na puta. Vou ver eles. They're going to kill us. Giovanna, just wait there. I'm going to be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Giovanna, get down. Let's go! 
Short of riding in on a parade float, we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. We had to hide someplace out of the open. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcello thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey. If we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready? Go. You got it? Yeah. Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Janava. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! Na sacada! Next room? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. I was getting good at this. something. Those stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Good. Come on. Wait, Get wait, the hell wait. away from here. Go oh on. my god, okay. go, Max. Please. Right behind you. Go. 
As Aventuras do Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Episódio 204. Nosso herói idoso encontrou o esconderijo do Saci, onde ele mantém sua namorada, Bicycle Helmet Girl, com... I must be losing it. They've been here! Oh my God, you're one of them! Our day had started with us hiding in filth, and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form, or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for Bassos? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Come on. Leg up. All right. Uh. Uh. Got it? Uh -huh. uh. Open the door. Before? Of course I haven't. You ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word. I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. <laughs>
I see it. this building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for me now. Go! Jump! Go! just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times, dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. <laughs> <laughs> 